Hello guys, explore how a $100k investment in NEO stock at its peak compares to similar investments in other EV companies today. If you had invested $100k in NEO stock at its peak, what would your investment be worth today? This video aims to provide a comprehensive comparison of NEO stock with its peers, highlighting that despite significant market declines, NEO has outperformed many of its competitors. Let's dive in by examining some of NEO peers. Suppose you had invested $100k in Lucid Motors at its all-time high. Today, your investment would have dwindled to just $4,000. The scenario is even worse for Nikola Motors. A $100k investment at its peak would leave you with a mere $500 today. Similarly, if you had put $100k into Workhorse or Canu, you'd be left with just $300. Hylian offers a slightly better picture. Investing $100k at its highest value would result in $2,500 today. However, consider Mullen stock for a shocking example. Imagine you had $12 million and invested it all in Mullen at its peak. Today, that investment would be worth a staggering $2.68. Yes, you heard that right. From $12 million to $2.68. If your investment in Mullen was $100k, you would now have a mere 2 cents. Other EV stocks like Fisker, Arrival, or Lordstown Motors have fared no better. A $100k investment in any of these would be completely wiped out, resulting in zero returns. Now, let's focus on NEO. If you had invested $100k in NEO at its all-time high, you would have $6,600 today. While this is far from a good performance, it's crucial to recognize that the entire market has experienced a significant downturn. The EV sector, in particular, has faced severe challenges, indicating that the bubble has burst and stock values have plummeted. Despite these challenges, NEO has managed to outperform its peers. In the broader context, NEO performance stands out. The company is actively selling vehicles in China, unlike some of its competitors, who struggle to sell any cars at all. The bias against Chinese stocks impacts market valuation, but if NIO were an American company, its stock price would likely be much higher due to the absence of geopolitical risks. The ongoing price war in the EV sector is detrimental to all players, leading to substantial losses. Critics argue that NIO losses of $700 million per quarter are unsustainable. However, it's essential to understand that these losses are primarily investments in research and development R&D, not wasteful spending. If necessary, NEO could reduce R&D expenses to sustain operations. NEO strategy involves investing in advanced technology, improving battery swap stations, and enhancing product quality to stay ahead of competitors. This approach has forced other EV makers to either collaborate with NEO or risk losing sales. In China, NEO competitors like BBA, BMW, Benz, Audi and Porsche have seen their sales decline significantly, with NEO capturing a considerable market share. It's important to note that NEO strategy is about future-proofing the company. The significant R&D investments are aimed at developing better products at lower costs which will result in higher margins and greater profitability in the long run. Investors often misinterpret these expenditures as wasteful, but they are crucial for NEO long-term success. While the $700 million quarterly loss is substantial, it's not a major concern for NEO. The company has the potential to secure additional funding and believes that its future products will generate significant revenue before they run out of money. NEO is preparing for tough market conditions and is confident in its ability to survive and thrive. NEO is currently the best-selling luxury EV company in China, outperforming competitors like Porsche and BBA. This success reflects NEO's strategic investments and market positioning. Despite NEO achievements, there has been significant criticism and skepticism. When NEO stock was at higher values $60, $30, $25, $18, $13, I warned investors about the potential for further declines. This warning was met with backlash and criticism. 
Now, as NEO stock has plummeted to $4 or $3, I believe we are near the bottom. But this view also faces skepticism. Throughout NEO stock decline, I have remained consistent in my assessment. When NEO was overvalued, I cautioned against excessive optimism. Now, as the stock appears to have bottomed out, I see a potential buying opportunity. My perspective is that NEO stock is currently undervalued, and while further declines are possible, the long-term outlook is positive. The key takeaway is that NEO has outperformed its peers despite significant market challenges. Investing in NEO at this stage could offer substantial long-term returns, even though the short-term outlook remains uncertain. Criticism and skepticism are part of the investment landscape, but it's essential to consider the broader context and the company's strategic positioning. NEO performance, while not stellar, is relatively better than many of its peers. The company's strategic investments and market success in China position it well for future growth. While short-term challenges persist, NEO long-term prospects remain promising. Investors should consider this broader perspective when evaluating NEO stock and its potential for recovery and growth. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing! and see you in the next video.